Kia ora Welcome back to Kaitaki Marakai. Um, we just had our first really big fine day. Well, yeah. So, what I've been doing today is soil preparation and just some planting and re renewing some of the vegetables that we're putting in. And this year, I'm going to be trying alongside our Douglas Garden, um, which is on the Papakainga and the Mara here. I'm also going to experiment with two raised bed gardens utilizing recycled material. So on the left here, I'm going to be doing potatoes. Well, actually, uh, piru piru using tires. So I'm, we had to change our tires uh, this year, so I told the fellow I'll keep them. And I'm going to use that and just build up. So, um, <clears throat> so I've got piru piru in here. Uh, got two layers of it. I'm just going to let it grow through. Uh, then put some more soil in. Let it grow through. Put some more soil in and so forth. Um, and probably I'll put another layer of piru piru in. And um, yeah, just trying it out. Uh, rather than spreading out on the whole mother like this way, I'm going to try growing growing up. And so, not sure what I might put in there. I might, hmm, I might try um, some of my leafy ones, like my lettuces or maybe some herbs. But what I've done in there, uh, so that's, that's yeah. Uh, over here, as you would have seen at the end of last year, uh, season I, um, I put in garlic the chicken came in and ate the garlic over here hence why I'm putting my piru piru in here uh, but you can see the garlic coming along and what I've also done is bought some onions and I'll put it around just to fill some gaps a bit instead of wasting it so I've got onions along here red onions there and then just along the edge there uh, around there and around the back I've got some white onions to go with the garlic uh, never tried garlic before but um, yeah uh, pretty much just left it and so now we just see how it goes alongside the pity pity uh, I'm just going to have a look around oh. um, so uh, this is where our chicken's been doing. Remember I had my tomatoes along here last year. So now that the chicken's actually done what I wanted to do, I'm just gonna leave it and now start putting vegetables in there. I've decided that this year um, I'm going to put all my green leafy vegetables in, in the mara here, uh, at the back of the whare, um, rather than on the whenua. And I'll do my potatoes, kumara, um, and since the aunties like the, the little um, small potato, um, what was it? It was the red, little red tomatoes. I'm going to put some more of those in. But along, yes, yeah, so, because um, I, I actually struggled trying to keep up with the amount of vegetables that were growing. So I'm actually going to have all my green stuff here, that way, that way I can keep an eye on it. And then ones I don't actually have to uh, tend to too much, I'm going to um, put that on the papakainga, the mara out there. Um, the kumara and the potatoes, um, I've kept seeds and so I'm planting those in. Um, and along this side now, I'm just starting to train the chicken to come along here and clean all this up. So I'll, I'll put the morning clay down there and you should see it starting to toss it up um, to turn it into something like that. Yeah, so yeah, it's pretty exciting, loving it. Um, <clears throat> what am I doing? So I've got some sheep pellets that I'm putting in and mixing it in. Uh, I have it on this one uh, in regards to, because it's actually going quite well, I did put sheep pellets in just to give it a bit of extra boost and also into the piru piru 
and here's an example of the pinu pinu that we had left over from last year i just let it go to sprouting i'm not sure if it's too far but when i did that with the kumara we got heaps of kumara out so yeah just start pumping that away now and just you know bend it uh, then the um, yeah pity pity just plot in there cover it up and just let, as it come, goes through and then let it happen just do itself the same thing um yeah uh back into it we've got uh probably we're going out the gardens this week uh phil has got another site that he wants us to have a look at so we will help him do his stuff um because it's really what it's about um, with our kaitaki marakai uh, building the relationships with people that gives them the capability of food security and food sustainability and what we've done with um, Matafu, you know, he, he's just doing his own thing now and we might just give him a bit of a hand with the labour and uh, like getting the, the, the initial dig done um, and provide some seedlings uh, through our networks and through whānau that uh, donate and give a koha to the to the project um yeah no, it's it's pretty it's pretty awesome uh, we've got 35 cabbages in here and they're small but i'm not having to pay for them you know they, they got in winter time there they're up to 11 bucks up here and uh, nine dollars for a broccoli and so you know we've yeah it's, um, it's all about food security and food sustainability and trying different ways of doing it uh, in the backyard, you know. Um, now I'm doing a variety, so as you've seen here, I've got the cabbages where the kumara was last year. Uh, I've got the broccoli. Uh, I'm doing a bit more uh, lettuce this year. I've got garlic. Um, I'm going to be putting down lettuces in here, and I'll gradually lay it out. I've got some beans. I'm going to do so. The farmer we did that. Uh, the hahi and did um so and the seed and we did some beans um, last, last week so once those sprout through we'll put them out um, and then when we go out to the whenua we'll just do the strawberries tomatoes kumara and potatoes uh, out there and um, this year now that i'm really stoked with the, the growth out that way um yeah we'll just uh make it a bit a bit, bit larger and um, support the whanau and support each other and Get into it. Anyway, um, this is what I've been doing today. Um, do some pics of some of the other vegetables. And scored um, corn as well. Um, actually, let's have a little peek. Um, and so, got a compost pile, but because it's taking so long, I've had to buy some more vegetable mix which we put into the garden that the nutrients and clay <clears throat> we add in things like you know, sheep pellets and lime and I'm doing the lime into this garden over here because I've utilized a lot of materials out of there um, I'll be putting lime in as I, as I plant um, layering in the sheep pellets down there layers of lime in uh, and really that hasn't got much other Material, as opposed to this one looks really really healthy so hence why we're going to be putting in um, compost that's probably our most expensive um, item to buy uh, is uh, compost because uh, we don't have a bigger capacity to do massive on a large scale again it's just a backyard garden so we're just um, trying stuff um, so the mulching bark it's doing well Breaking up, chickens getting in here. Look at that, look at this soil. Look at that, look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. Just a little, just, oh yeah, I'm really stoked with this because this was ugly last year. If you see that, if you go back and have a look, uh, the, yeah, it wasn't too flash. But here's our compost pile, we're just chucking things in. But um, remember last year, we had down here, we had tomatoes and pumpkin i'm actually going to probably do corn along here 
and um, I might do the beans. It seems to be where the sun does really well uh, here, so it's going to be warm, it's not so windy, no blue over on that side. It's just utilising space, finding ways of utilising it. So I'll have, I'll have corn halfway down and then I'll have some beans, beans, beans along this way. Mm. Oh, hey hey, silver beet, cabbages, you know, get out in the mud, you know, grow your own guy. Uh, you know, they look ugly, but hey, pull off the leaves, and you got a couple of feeds out of each of those cabbages. Uh, we were able to have a noho, a wānanga the other weekend, and we, I got three or four of these, and uh, took some kumara, and they came from the mara. Um, yeah, whānau, uh, anai, anai taku kōrero poto, e pāna ki te kaitaki mara kai. <laughs> yeah, mahi o te hei hei Te hea te kai, kai ana ia What are you reading? Ah, ana ia Ah, kui Tikinga tēnā mau Ah, ia Here we go Found some kai, hei Yeah, ok Hey, kia ora whanau Back here again So they're white Now just want to have a little look at this raised garden idea, raised bed. Now, um, lots of coil around recycling or upcycling or whatever you want to do, think about. So I'm just using here an old um, inside of a uh, washing machine and um, got it from a local fella who does that and um, putting uh, raw materials inside and so I've got branches, it'll break down, compost, waste vegetables, bark, and then I'm going to put my soil in. Now, um, if you look up, I think it's Mark, on um, Self-Sufficient Me, um, he's got a channel that talks about raised beds and um, backyard gardening in Australia, ex-military fellow, so jump on his site. Um, there is actually a technical name for this type of um, uh, process uh, that he's, with, he's drawn from, uh, from Europe where they put hard materials like in, in the gardens that he does he'll do big, big logs and, and tree trunks and all those types of things that he's got out of his garden. I've just used um, I had a pile on my, on my um, compost pile that was over there I had a um, some trees that I cut down so I actually I chopped those up put them in the bottom um, and putting organic stuff in there and now I'm going to put my compost and then I'll plant it um, in here and then that'll be for my, for my garden and I'll probably trial out for this one I might just put my lettuces um, try what, uh, what that's like and um, it's only small but you're utilising something that would normally go to waste and uh, looks pretty ugly but hey um, I actually don't have to get on my knees so I'm just trialling that, I've actually got two of these bins same as I talked about before, I'm doing with the, the tyres mixing them up a bit um, so I actually got some strawberries those would go quite well in there because then the strawberries could hang over um, I might do that with the second one, but for this one here, I'm, uh, I think I'll put my, uh, my lettuces, put some lettuces in there and see how that goes. Anyway, um, think about how you can upcycle or recycle materials that you have around your whare. Uh, it might be milk containers, like... Uh, yeah, so... Um, hmm. So this is for a backyard garden where you've got a bit of land and space that you can put your marakai down just as we've been doing over the last little while but if you are short of space one of the things that i've noticed in uh, tamaki makoto um, unlike when i grew up where you had a fuddy and a bit of land at the back in south auckland 
they're really pushing to try to get a lot of people living in the city, cramping people in. So this whole medium, high density type of type of living, and people are just living in shoe boxes, and there's no space at all for what we're doing here. So you have to be quite creative, I think. Um, so as you see, with the if you haven't got space, you build up. So I'm, I'm trialing out two raised things. You've got real flash raised beds that you can get wooden ones and plastic ones and so forth. Um, you could do. Uh, there's a lady uh, queer up the road. Um, she trains up uh, some of the rangatahi around here about growing things in like milk containers. Um, if you have a fence like this, even though this is a bit of a huckery old fence, is you could look at um, hanging things on the fence. Like for example, if you had um, a container along the top rung, rung there, and then you plant the tomatoes, instead of the tomatoes growing up, they would grow down the fence. Um, so yeah, if you've got small spaces or hardly any room, if you're living in an apartment, uh, if you're living in high-rise buildings, if you're living in those boxes down in Tamaki there, uh, and you don't have a lot of land uh, to build, I was somewhere last week and uh, they said they're putting up another fuddy already crammed in with two fuddies around it. I'm thinking, man, between all the cars and the fuddies, um, how are people meant to grow their own kai? Which the process for city living is actually, they don't want you buying their kai. They want you dependent on the supplies that are around there. Anyway, uh, that's another quarter door, another day. So you utilise and think about the space you've got and what you could use that you would <clears throat> that would use, you would use anyway so like milk containers or um, soft drinks like coca-cola and all that um, how can you reutilize or upcycle um, some of those materials where they're not necessarily going into uh, recycling all the rubbish straight away um, you know, you're utilizing it for for your butter and grow things um, hydroponics is another way you can create a, a water flow system where you could grow vegetables uh, hydroponically uh, I'm not really familiar with that because uh, I've got fenwa that I'm dealing with so yeah uh, yeah so you, you know what just think about that uh, hence why we're doing our little bit not that we're doing it really but just trying out stuff and uh, how, see how it works um, and as you get less and less space you've got air space so utilize that to grow your garden up um, and if you're elderly or a bit older uh, and it's harder to get on the ground like I'm lying here now um, you know, you're upcy upcycling or recycling materials can you can build it up uh, from there so you don't have to bend down as much Hoi anō he whakāro nōhio, it's just a, just a thought to think, give you some, um, you know, spark the old uh, creative garden processes for you in your, in your, in your head, and um, yeah, okay, kaki tano. E ua e te ua, ringi hia tō hinu, e ua e te ua. Uhi am I? Ewai Ewai Ewai